Today's famous scientist is Blaise Pascal. Born in 1623 in France, Pascal made the lives of accountants, economists, scientists, and even weathermen a whole lot easier. Pascal was a child prodigy, and at the age of 16, he sent a new mathematical theory to René Descartes. At the ripe old age of 18, Pascal invented one of the first mechanical calculators to help out his dad, who was a taxman under the notorious Cardinal Richelieu. Pascal's casual ideas about gambling introduced the world to the probability theory which predicts the odds of whether or not something will happen. But with apologies to Freddie Mercury, Pascal's biggest work came under pressure. Aristotle said that nature abhors a vacuum, or in plain English, that vacuums cannot exist. But with a little help from his brother-in-law, Florin, Pascal used Mercury, no, not that Mercury, well, that's the one to prove Aristotle wrong. Florin put glass tubes upside down in the mercury, creating simple barometers, and measured the mercury rising in the tubes. He then hiked up a volcano. This experiment showed that the empty space was a vacuum filled with nothing, unlike Aristotle, who was totally full of it. Today, a bunch of scientific principles are named after Pascal. So are units we use to measure pressure, and even a computer programming language. And remember that probability theory? Well, it was developed by others and is extremely important to the world's economy. So even though Pascal had health problems his whole life and died at age 39, his legacy will live on forever.